I really feel like I need to talk today about relationships, particularly toxic and abusive relationships, and getting out and away from those kind of relationships and stop allowing the wrong people in your life. It took me a few marriages. Mm, yes, it did. I'm not ashamed to admit it. It took me some failures to figure it out. What is the thing? What? Why do I keep repeating the same cycle? Why do I keep finding these people that just aren't right for me? Right? And I had to go back in my own timeline and figure things out. And I'm sure part of this comes with experience and age. <laughs> we don't come out of the womb learning this and knowing these things. And when we are young and we are in our 20s, we have no idea. We have this fantasy in our mind of how life is supposed to be and how relationships are supposed to be. And then we get into some of those. Mm, 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 mm. And we are waking up. We are shaken awake, right? And we're looking around at our life and our world and wondering, how did this happen? How did this, the picture in my mind turn into this nightmare? This dream now just completely filled with monsters and terrible things. So you get out of that relationship. You go find another one. This one's going to be better. This one's going to fit the dream. Mm. No, it doesn't. Why? Why does it not fit the dream? What is it we're doing wrong? We aren't living for us. We aren't creating the life that we love for ourselves. Because let me tell you, when you stop worrying about everyone else's happiness, are they fed? Are they safe? Are they happy? Am I giving them enough love? Or am I pouring enough of myself into them? Leaving yourself empty? You're hungry, you're starving, you're thirsty, and you're left without any love. Because they're not giving you the love. Because you're pouring so much of yourself into them. You probably aren't even giving them a chance or opportunity to pour any of themselves, themselves back into you. We don't do that on purpose. It's completely accidental. We're so busy trying to, to fix everyone and make everyone happy and create that perfect world, that perfect dream. We don't realize what's happening. And in the end... We're not living for us. We're living for everyone else. And no one's living for us. No one's making our dreams come true. No one's even asking us about our dreams. <laughs> and we find ourselves empty and wonder why. Why am I so alone? Why am I so sad? Why am I so empty? Why am I not happy? Because you weren't pouring any of that love into yourself. You weren't creating a life that you love. You are trying to create a life that someone else loved. Hoping that in that life, they would love you back. And then we get older and we see and we find out that's not the way it works. But let me tell you a secret. Not really a great secret, but some of you haven't got to that stage yet. So to you, something unknown. When you start living for you and start creating the life you love, I don't care if you're male or female, men and women both, create the life you love. Then when people come into your life, you will see instantly whether they fit that dream or not. If they don't, it's not anything bad. It's just like, mm, let's be adult. You're a nice person. We just don't fit. Our lives don't fit together. Our lives will continue to go apart. So let's just end that one. And we, someone else will come in. And we'll know instantly again whether they're a fit or not. Don't settle. And the older you get, the less you do settle. Because you see and you understand already what it's like when you do settle. For just that warm body. Live for you. Create a life for yourself that you love. And the right person, when they come along, oh, 
It feels amazing. And you know with every part of your being, there's no conflict. There's no questioning. There's no doubt. You just fit. So stop saying yes to all the wrong people for all the wrong reasons. Stop creating a life for someone else to love. Stop trying to create their dream life, hoping that they're going to give you your dream life back. Stop pouring all of yourself and all of your love into someone that's not even giving you an ounce of theirs. And you're going to find your dream and you're going to find your happiness. I promise. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. You do. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space. Do your meditations. And remember this wild wolf, raven, and spirit. We're sending you unconditional love. Mwah.